Uganda has a high prematurity rate. Over 200,000 babies are born preterm every year. Whereas there has been significant progress in reducing mortality of these newborns, some 65,000 are lost every year. But unfortunately, almost now coming to 40% of children dying before five years, uh, just in the first month of life. And um, uh, those are many new, neonates uh, dying. It is estimated that over almost 30,000 newborns are lost every year. But this excludes another 35,000 stillbirths. St. Francis Hospital in Zambia is pioneering efforts in introducing human milk banking, a life-saving initiative that could change the face of neonatal care in Uganda. The milk bank is important for two major categories of newborn babies. Uh, both of them underlying is that they are not able to breastfeed. So it might either be a sick newborn, might be a term baby but sick and is not able to breastfeed, or sometimes preterm babies, or abandoned babies. And the early start in life is so important for our development. If we don't start well early, then it affects us throughout life. The bank is the second in East Africa, with the other being in Kenya. Many times we get mothers here who have like three, four babies who are born at 28 weeks. So that mother cannot provide sufficient milk for their baby. And then sometimes you have mothers who are, who are operated and they are in the ICU. They have a baby in the NICU. They can spend one week without producing milk. So that is when we started having this idea of having the Human Milk Bank. Actually, it started maybe, maybe eight years ago. The, the first experience was a mother who had a hepatitis B, she was acutely ill. Her sister started donating milk to the baby, the baby survived, and actually the baby was discharged. That was in 2015. In the beginning, even the, the health workers, the staff were like, hey, but Dr. Vicky, how can we do something like this? So when they saw that success story, many people started changing. Human milk banking isn't new globally, but in Uganda, it is a fresh concept. The milk bank at Insambia will collect, screen, process and store breast milk from healthy donors. A potential donor is any mother that is breastfeeding. But that mother must have sufficient milk for her baby. And then must, she must be healthy. She mustn't have HIV, no syphilis. She mustn't have hepatitis B or C. And she should not have tattoos and shouldn't be taking a lot of what? Alcohol. She should have, make sure that she has enough milk for her baby. And once she has enough milk, then she can qualify to donate. So any mother that is breastfeeding actually, from one year up to two years, we accept that milk. For my first child, I had a lot. So whenever I would be on duty, I would come here at around midday. Because midday it would be enough to donate. Eh? So that by evening, when I go back home, my child already has enough to take when I go back home. And since 2021, several babies have benefited and improved their life. We have received 96 liters and we have dispensed 76 liters. Safety is paramount. Donated milk undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it's free from infections and nutritionally sound. Once we have been able to freeze the milk and we have sufficient amounts, we pasteurize the milk. We have a pasteurizer that it needs about 36 bottles. So we pasteurize the milk. Once the milk has been pasteurized, uh, we also get a sample from the pasteurized milk and take it to the lab and we also do culture on the milk. We only pass out milk to the mothers or to the babies if they have not cultured any organism from that milk. But like any new initiative, the milk banking project faces challenges. There is a cost on testing because the number of tests that we do range, let me give a price that maybe rent about 200,000 shillings where we have to test that donor for a number of conditions before they are ready to donate. And right now that cost is quite a hefty cost to the person, that's the recipient or the parent 
to whom the baby is going to be given. And this is the problem. After we've tested, we could test and the person fails the test, then have to pay for a second person. The main challenges are basically why donors wanting money. And then the other challenge actually that we have is the fact that when we get our mothers who are able to donate here, some of, the, some of them don't stay for a very long time. They stay for two to three, uh, two to three days, four days, and then sometimes they go home. As efforts towards expanding this investment continue, the need for a policy to streamline operations is key. One, a policy is important and the enabling laws are good enough. Um, I think a policy was passed which is around donation of biological products and tissues. I think it could cover most aspects of, of uh, Emric Bank. The Uganda Ministry of Health has developed guidelines around human milk donation or human milk banking and is looking at scaling up human milk banks countrywide. We are working now on a document on how to standardize this breast milk. We need to look at, for example, how can they be established. And establishment is not only the infrastructure, but also involves what do you put in place beforehand. We must have people who can handle these systems, but also we must mobilize the communities, the, the potential people who bring the breast milk. And also sensitize the mothers who are going to use this milk, you know. So we have a guideline. We're working on a guideline now which can help us to know how to establish them in the different places, what are the standards, what equipment you need, what kind of data do you need to keep in these places, and then also plan how to implement the breast milk bank, including uh, putting in place systems for monitoring, but also linking them to the service delivery points. And we are also planning to expand these breast milk banks. We have three potential sites now we are looking at in the region. And as I said, our biggest target is these small premature babies. We are not alone. So we are now a set of five hospitals. We put Chiguli Hospital, we put Naguru Uganda China Friendship Hospital, we put Mengo and Lubaga Hospitals. We are popularizing it within other hospitals so that the message is not just in Zambia, but other health workers and other institutions are speaking the same language. Zambia Hospital's Human Milk Bank Initiative holds promise, but community education Funding and collaboration will be crucial. This project is not just about nutrition. It's about giving the youngest citizens of Uganda a fighting chance at life. Walter Mwesi J, NTV.